Hey guys, welcome back. And if you've never been here before, welcome for the very first time. My name is Sahara and each week I try something new to see if I want it as my hobby. I have a confession to make <laughs> in the other things I've tried so far, the indoor plant care, photography, and I already forget the other one. Oh, the decluttering and organizing. So like the concept is I do something for a whole week, right? Consistency, um, do it multiple times during the week to see if I like it enough as a hobby. I haven't done anything more than just the couple days that very first time. This week, I am going to be journaling every single day. The best of my abilities, I am going to try to do that. And I am a complete liar. I haven't done any of those other things more than just the couple of times I did it the very first time. I can find anything in the book to justify and rationalize. I'm busy, I'm this, I'm that, but really like I'm, I'm lazy. That's something I'm really, really good at. I did buy some cutesy stuff to journal. Is this childproof? Here we go. Did buy a journal. This is obviously the one thing you need, a journal and a writing utensil, but I bought other cute stuff. By no means is it a necessity. You do not need to buy things at all to journal. I just wanted to because I never have before. Bought some stickers. Each page is cute. I bought two of these booklets because they were on sale. I just really wanted stamps. I think I would have bought these even if journaling was not my hobby for the week. Look at those little Victorian stamps. Ooh, and I've seen people use this washi tape, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Is it washi tape? But yeah, to like put on borders of the pages. They childproofed this one too. That's cute. So I got my new journal, cute stamps, cute stickers, and cute decorative tape. I have journaled a lot in the past and I never bought anything for it other than a pen and an empty notebook. And anytime I wanted a flower or a cute saying or a border, I would just sketch it and doodle it in. So my journals were very like chicken scratchy. But now there's all this cute stuff like all these products for like planning for planners and journals and I wanted to try some of them out because I have not journaled in consistently in many many years. I used to journal a lot when I was younger like teenage to through my 20s and I would even meet up with friends who were into journaling as much as I were and like that was our hangout. We would meet, bring our journals, and our pens and we would journal and be like, these are the pages I did. I had a stack of completely full notebooks and I didn't have a label maker, but I had a job where there was a label maker. So I made all these labels about the very, cause I dated every page, the very first date to the end date. And I would put it on the, the bind of the, the notebook. And I had them stacked all up from, you know, the years in order. And then I destroyed all of them. I don't even remember when I did it. I remember why I did it. I was having a hard time accepting my past, my younger self, and those journals were literally day by day documentation of my past. And it just made me very sad and it reminded me of all the chaos and confusion that was in my life and my mind and my heart. and. It just brought me pain. So I destroyed all of them. I ripped out all the pages. I shredded them. No evidence. No, like, I did not want to look back at that time in that way, in like such an intimate and in-depth way as like looking back at my journals. That was not the solution whatsoever. However, it was very cathartic. Since then, I do have one journal. It's I want to start this new one just to start fresh. I really love like a fresh start. I just, there's something about a fresh start. I do have this one that is kind of in the works. I don't, let me tell you the last time I wrote in it. Friday, 6, 17, 22. So June 17th, 2022. I will probably continue to write in it and make it a specific journal because there is more of one topic in here than anything else. It was just this tie-dye pink that I did not like in front. And then my super cool husband for this last Christmas 
as one of my stocking stuffers, he put in these super cool Sailor Jerry style American traditional tattoo stickers. So I covered the front in this and he knows me very well. But for the most part, I wanna start fresh. I love, love a fresh start. Fresh start, waking up, Folgers in your cup. I took a break because mama got hungry and I made myself some food and when I went to take the container lid off and the steam burned my fingers. My skin is, is radiating pain right now. So this is a normal hand and this is the hand in pain, the red and the red. <laughs> it hurts so bad. Anyway, I uh, kind of enjoyed my lunch while my uh, fingers were on fire. Journaling. Gonna get to journaling. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna journal. It's 5:20 in the morning, and I've been awake since 4 a.m. because of that that tyrant right there. 4 a.m. is far too early for a pregnant woman to be up and functioning. However, this is where I find myself. It's now 5:20 and my tyrant is done being a tyrant. So I thought, what a great time for me to journal. I actually didn't think that. <laughs> I did not think, what a great time to journal. I was like, I might as well get it out of the way now. And I clock in for work at seven and I'll probably get distracted if I wait. So I'm going to journal now. And I can tell you, it's already not going to be a super chipper positive journal entry. Oh well. That concludes my journaling for the week. I did not do it every single day. I missed the last day and I just didn't want to. It ran through my head. I knew I should have. Maybe I even shouldn't have. Like I made up the rule to do it every day. I can break my own rule, I guess. I had a really good experience. I did six days, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. The last day, Saturday, I wrote, I don't really feel like writing today. It feels like a chore, so I'm not going to continue on. And I didn't. I just wrote a few bullet points of what I did want to do that day, which is spend quality time with my family, take my dog on a walk, be of service. Then the next day, I really didn't feel like writing and I didn't even open my journal. That's okay. If anyone watching journals, leave something in the comment about the benefits you get from it. I'm curious what people get from journaling. I found something I do want to share with you guys. When Jack and I were engaged, we received a wedding present from a talented creative woman and she instructed, she created this huge it's more of like a scrapbook almost but it's meant to be written in and each page is different 
each page has different things added. I mean, different things to write on, different inserts. It's just gorgeous, it's phenomenal, and I've never written in it because I'm afraid I'm gonna ruin it. I definitely have this complex of, well, if a page isn't perfect, I just, I'm just not gonna write or I, I need to rip it out of my journal and I need to get over that because life isn't perfect, so why should my silly little journal be perfect? If you enjoyed this type of video, please click that subscribe button, click that thumbs up because it would really support my channel. Thanks so much, bye. That sounded like a fake high. What's wrong with me? <sighs> Getting winded. My pregnant ass is short of breath. Journaling.